everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm recreating the Fashion Nova ruched dress. First of all I'm cutting out my patterns for the lining by using a dress that I already own for reference. I hold the lining fabric onto myself to mark how long I want the dress to be. For the outer fabric I used an old curtain that I no longer needed. I had about 2 meters by 2.5 meters and the fabric is not stretchy. I cut out a big piece of the curtain by roughly tracing the shape of my lining and adding to the length and width. I then cut another piece for the back of my dress. For the ruching, I measured my fabric and divided it into three sections. I pinned the fabric and I used a bar of soap to mark two straight lines across the fabric. I then used these markings to sew a basting stitch along the fabric. Using my lining as a guide, I pulled on the threads and ruched up the fabric. I then pinned the bottom of both layers together and sew along the edge. I repeated the same step with the top and sides. I then measured the back piece and pinned the middle of the fabric, traced it with the soap and sew another basting stitch along the marking. Repeating the same steps as for the front, I'm ruching up the back, however at this stage I also cut both layers of fabric down the middle up to the point where my waist is in order to add a closure to the dress. I am pinning all the edges and sew them shut. I then measure my fabric again and mark even lines on the line. I sew along these lines to secure the ruching and attaching it to the lining. Next I am removing the basting stitch by seam ripping it. I repeat those steps for the front piece. At this point I realized that my dress was a little too tight for me so I cut out two more strips of lining and two much longer strips of the curtain. I sew the top and end of those two layers together and then sew along the sides whilst ruching it up.
I sewed both of these strips to my front piece right sides together. I then attached the back piece to the front and side pieces and cut off any excess fabric. I also cut off any excess seam allowance. Next I hemmed all edges with a rolled hem. For the closure I recycled buttons from an old shirt and attached them to the one side of the dress opening. To the other side I sewed some beige elastic to hook onto the buttons. For the sleeves, I cut out two oversized sleeve shapes. I pinned the fabric around my arms to make it fit me. I then sewed the sleeve shut by using a French seam. The French seam is done by sewing the fabric wrong sides together, cut off any seam allowance and turn it inside out and sew along the existing seam. This way you have no raw edges. Next I cut off the sleeves to my desired length. At this point I also cut off the top of my sleeves as I wanted them to be off the shoulder. I then took some elastic and wrapped it around my upper arm and cut it. I hemmed the bottom of my sleeves by rolling it in twice and sewing along the sides. I sewed the elastic into the top of the sleeves with a zigzag stitch. I flipped the elastic to the inside of the sleeve and sewed all along the elastic with another zigzag stitch. Lastly, I sewed the sleeves to the sides of the dress and finished is the recreation. Let's take another look at what I was trying to recreate. And here is the final outcome. I think this dress looks very elegant and cute. It definitely is something for a special occasion, but I love to have this in my collection. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY videos.